On a hot summer day along the banks of a stream, pond, river, or anywhere there's a body of water, you may notice the quick flight of something with bright colors all around you. It finally lands, and you take a closer look at it to see what it is. And from your amazement, it is a large, intriguing insect, a dragonfly. Along the bank of a pond, you see something similar, but smaller, and then you wonder if these two insects are the same or related somehow. This insect is a damselfly. Both dragonflies and damselflies are in the same order Odonata, and at sometimes referred to as Odonates. They have similarities such as a long abdomen, two pairs of wings, large mouth parts called mandibles, six legs, and three body segments. They also have differences too. Let's go over the differences between dragonflies and damselflies. Both damselflies and dragonflies have two pairs of wings. Let's look at the wings of a damselfly. As you can see from this Rambers Forktail damselfly, the wings are similar in shape, that when combined together, it is difficult to see all four wings. The wings are unlike the skimmer perched on a twig. The hind wings are a lot broader than the forewings. Since we are looking at the wings of both damselflies and dragonflies, we can tell the difference of both by looking at their wing position. Looking at this smoky ruby spot damselfly from afar, all four wings are placed together over the abdomen while resting. There are groups of damselflies called spread wings that will have their wings partially open. Dragonflies have their wings spread out away from the body, like the way this banded wing dragonlet has its wings. The eye position of dragonflies and damselflies are different as well. This Kiowa dancer has its two bulging compound eyes on each side of its head. Dragonflies have very large compound eyes that merge together on the top of their head. Damselflies are weaker flyers than dragonflies. They fly closer to the ground near the water's surface or the water's edge among the vegetation and rocks. Dragonflies are strong, fast flyers and fly out into the open water. They can also fly high up into the trees. As you may have noticed, damselflies are smaller and have more slender abdomens. Dragonflies are much larger and have more robust abdomens. Now you know the difference between dragonflies and damselflies. Looking for them is really simple since they can be found anywhere there's water and at any wetland. And now there are so many books that will help you identify these odonates and provide more details about them. So you can learn the dragonflies and damselflies around you. Dragonflies and damselflies have existed for a very long time. Damselflies have been around for 250 million years. As for dragonflies, well, they've been around for 300 million years. And the very first fossil that was found of a dragonfly was in France, and its wingspan showed 30 inches. Can you imagine how big that was? This is 30 inches right here. So this is how big that dragonfly was. Nowadays, they're not as big as that, but they're really cool to watch anyways. And even though damselflies and dragonflies are vicious predators to the insects that they hunt and eat, they're, very, they're harmless to us, so you can get as close as you want to observe them. So the next time that you're out on a walk and near a body of water, keep your eyes open for these spectacular insects. Thank you for watching, and if you haven't yet, like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you want to know a little more about our center, check out our website at edinburghwbc.org or you can give us a call at 956-381-9922. Thank you. Thank you guys. Have a great one. Bye.